this is Emily Chanda from Go Norfolk. I am live today from Whistling Garden. What an amazing place. I will show you around. So tune in and let's find out what this amazing location is all about. So as a wellness coach, I am passionate about health and wellness. And this place is something to discover. It looks like a great place to be walking, getting some exercising, breathing some fresh air. We'll be talking to volunteers. We'll be talking to the creator of this super place. And there's also a bus tour coming on today. So hopefully we'll catch a glimpse of that tour as well. Whistling Garden is just north of Waterford in Wilsonville, Ontario. It is a botanical garden, uh, privately owned. And the owner is here. He is a super gardener, super passionate about his business. So we'll get to find out a little bit more about this location. If you are looking for an amazing location, this in Norfolk County is actually identified as one of them. And I can totally see why by looking around. So I'll show you, follow me. If you're just tuning in, hi, this is Emily Chanda from Go Norfolk. So let's be active today at Whistling Garden. The owners are Darren and Wanda. They bought this property about 10 years ago and created a very fascinating place. I'm looking forward to introduce you to the creator. He has a lot to say, you'll see. All right, hi Darren. All right, so I found the owner and creator of this place. This is Darren. All right. Good afternoon. <laughs> yes, okay, let's get walking this way. Okay. All right, so this place is looking amazing this time of year. Did I choose a good day to show up? You did. <laughs> You're right on the cusp of the peony season now. We have over a thousand and fifty different varieties out here in the collection. Wow. And I Are they know, blooming or? Every day, every hour now, <laughs> new ones keep popping open. I'd say there's about 150 varieties going at the moment, but um, there'll just be more and more with each passing day. Okay. Where are we going? Which direction? You you guide me. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Okay, so how long have you owned this place, Aaron? Oh, we've been on the farm since 2003. Um, we didn't start building these gardens, which you see now, Ooh. actually in this spot till 2010. Okay. So this is... That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it so looks really away. cool. Okay. But All right. I'm going to switch this around. This is... You guys got to see what we're walking towards. Wow. Okay. So what is this, Darren? Oh, this is just sort of a feature. It was a last minute idea in 2011. It was supposed to be four trees up there, but then uh, in 2011 we gave up on the four trees. They kept passing away and we built a, a French inspired arbor. We don't know if it's from France or Belgium, but uh, it's definitely got some French elements yes, in I it. Yes, I see the fleur de lis there. That's a good sign. Yes, yes. Wow. Inside we've got fountains and we've got a chessboard. People get into this all the time because sometimes the male gender isn't as excited about flowers <laughs> as the female gender. This is a good place to hang out uh, if and your it's partner just wants a nice to. Place, yes, wow. definitely to relax and, and have a little bit of a break. So really a live uh, big action. Yes. Wow. And on the other side of this is our tree fountain, which is sort of unique else doing this kind of trickery at the moment so hi guys if you're just tuning in this is emily chanda from go norfolk i am live here with darren at whistling garden we are exploring hoping to see some pineys today they are starting to bloom very exciting place walking around i <laughs> this is incredible i have a problem concentrating i just want to look everywhere okay let's show this, this all is right so this idea that uh, I found in an old architectural book, uh, a really old one. So I went to Versailles to go see it and I asked the tour guide where's the marsh garden and nobody knew what I was talking about of course so uh, I went home empty handed, still a nice trip. I just copied this essential garden from the book again but it was running in the 1600s and what they had was a tree in the in the center of an island, which I think at the time was maybe a catalpa, and they just posted all of them had fountains coming out of the tree, which I thought was a very interesting concept. So very we're peaceful. doing the same thing. I just want to sit here and like listen to the sounds of the, the water and 
So we add to it each season. We got lots of native plants around there. We have our lilies, different irises and bulrushes. And this is sort of the formal garden, so it takes a little while to get it going in the spring with all the annuals and the tropicals. We just got some more shipped in that we'll be planting out here very shortly. But um, it's just a unique feature in the garden. And as the tree gets bigger, we just add a few more hoses to it. <laughs> uh, I think you're a fountain guy. I hear this an amazing feature out here too to, to talk about. So is this something, a passion of yours? Like the, the whole fountain thing or? I think they're fun. <laughs> they belong they're in fun. every garden. I like yeah. the technology that controls them and uh, it gives me an excuse to still continue to write music. And, uh, and then in the winter, it keeps me out of trouble because that's when I do all the work on the new fountain shows for the next year. <laughs> Get ready. So this is something brand new this year. Even if you've been here before, you can expect something a little bit yeah. different from the show. It's totally, totally different. Um, we've got those pumps working pretty hard this year. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I saw a little sneak peek when I was out uh, a couple weeks ago, but I'm excited to see some more today. So again, if yep. you're tuning in, this is Emily Chanda. We are at Whistling Garden today, taking a walk around the property. I'm with the owner and the gardener, Darren. Um, some guy, you know, super passionate about what he's doing. So I'm really happy to be here today. Thankful for the invitation to come and check out this amazing place. Uh, Whistling Garden is just north of Waterford, right? About 10 minutes or so out. Yep. Easy access from Brantford, from anywhere in Norfolk County, from Hamilton. Beautiful place to check out. And it looks like a lot of unusual trees and bushes, like a lot of stuff I have never seen before. All right, we're in the Conifer Garden now. This is the very first garden to get laid out in 2007. This was literally uh, my first trees planted in were planted in the stubble of the soybean field. They took the beans off the field and I was out planting very shortly after. And now what we're doing is we're giving some of our uh, conifers here uh, new homes and we're starting to put our peony collection in here as well. Okay, and so there's some here already that we can see or? Yes, we got some young baby ones here. These were all planted in November and December last year and uh, these are all uh, Chinese tree peonies and we got different species of them. Uh, very, pro very happy to see that they're actually blooming this season. Wow, this one is already gorgeous. for it's such huge. a young little plant. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the garden now that sort of got things started because now we have over 2,350 different varieties of evergreens in the collection. Wow! And people come literally from around the world to see them all. So that was our first thing, and, and of course now our peonies are starting to take. Uh, old, uh, in terms of getting people interested in visiting the gardens. So I saw that there's about, you have over a thousand different varieties of pineys, is that right? Yes, oh. there's about a thousand and fifty here and we seem to add roughly, let's go this way, roughly add about, oh, fifty to a hundred new varieties each season. They're all donated to us. Oh, so the, it's all donations, so people want to see their variety displayed somewhere special? Is that why they donate? Or? Well, we have a family up in the Peterborough area. I just want to show you this spruce tree here. This is a really unique one too. But we do have uh, uh, a family in Peterborough and a in Brantford, Ontario, who donated his entire collection and the other family from Peterborough as well. Um, they were looking for a good home and this is sort of how it happened. Okay. So and you just, they, they, they contacted you or you contacted them or? Well, they contacted me. Um, it was actually after we had won an, a tourism award for the garden. Okay. And we were at a dinner and of course one thing led to another and <laughs> there we go. A UPS truck was showing up quite regularly with a bunch of peonies. So we've been planting and planting ever since. All right, let's try to find some more peonies. I want to see more. Okay. So the uh, garden is open every day, so people can visit. Yes, we're open seven days a week, uh, nine thirty to five, and that should give you lots of time and flexibility to come on out and have a look around. So people, you just pay the entrance and walk at your leisure. Is there any tours or anything else if we want more information? Or? Yes, if we have a group of at least 10 people, we can do a tour, but it has to be pre-booked just because of the high demand for this particular season right now. Um, we have tours nearly every day of coach buses coming in from all over Ontario, Michigan, Florida. All the way from Florida? Yes, we have our first bus from Florida coming out this summer, actually in two weeks. So that's kind of exciting. That's new for us. 
Yeah, people from really all over the place wanting to check out this amazing location. Yes. I see, understand why now that I'm here. <laughs> you can see the cactus blooming or ready to bloom in another two weeks. We, Canada. That's quite the cactus so that are native here, and these ones are all native to Alberta. Huh. And so we have them out here too. A little bit of everything. So you you have it spaced out in different collections around the property, is that? Yes. We like to keep them all in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. These just bloomed, and I have not <laughs> seen these blooms before. For many of our tree peonies, this is their first year to bloom for us, so we're pretty excited about that. All those yellow ones are amazing, amazing. huh? Different coral colors, different lavender, circles, reds, you name it. Every color exists in peonies except for blue. No blues. No blues not working, yet. Not working on that, Darren? Or? Uh, well, we are seeding our own and, and we're tinkering with things at the moment. Let's just wait and see. Wow. Okay, so this is this is a good time to come. Like I see quite a few a few blooms, right? Yes, and every day, like I say, more and more are opening up all the time. So different species of peonies, we keep them out here. That's the Caucasian peony, it's beautiful when it comes up in the yeah, spring. Yeah, this is going to Dark, dark upcoming. burgundy, and then its flower will also have burgundies in it. Oh wow, let's check out this one. Let's check it. This, this is the Cardinal's Rope, the tree peony. And um, tree peonies don't bloom forever. That's the only problem. <laughs> Could it come at the right time? Yes, but we have other types that bloom for almost 20 days of succession. And that's my all-star. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Keaton from Niagara Parks. Yeah. And he studies here. We're doing his internship here until the end of June. Yeah. Having fun working here? Oh, it's great. Lots of work? Yeah, lots of work. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It's pretty amazing. Wow, it's yeah, beautiful day to be out here. Sorry? It's beautiful day to be out here. I can is. imagine yeah. this is your yeah, life. Working here? Yes. Not yeah. too bad? Right now it is, for sure. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Take nice care. <laughs> so you're just tuning in. This is Emily Chanda from Go Norfolk. I'm passionate about health and wellness. And today I am here with Darren at Whistling Garden. This is peonies time. They have over a thousand kinds, thousand variety around the property. I invite you to come and check it out. They are open daily from 9.30 to 5. You can tour. There's about five or four kilometers, is that right, of trails and uh, paths to move around. So good for exercising, get moving, get walking, and explore the collection. It is a truly an amazing location. Where else can we check out, Darren? Let's go up by the pond and see uh, what we see over there. <laughs> So this is probably a pretty crazy season for you then, you're just out here doing work every day? Yep, it's uh, sun up to sun down some days right now, just getting the gardens ready to go, it never ends. I see you have some uh, some little bit of, uh, I'm not sure they're calling pets or animals on the farm, I guess. Is this something that we can expect to see while we come to Whistling Garden? Yes, we have a lot of different birds in the bird aviary, um, unique and we have different species of pheasants. We got our royal mute swans, Egyptian geese, peacocks, uh, different kinds of doves and pigeons as well. They just hang out around the property? Yes, some of them are free and some of them are kept in pens. Um, I can't let them all out. <laughs> they may not come back. Okay, all right. <laughs> Is this all things that you built as well, like the little bridges and all the structures? Like this is a field, right? Yeah, this you're looking or we're walking through an old cornfield right now. <laughs> Even the pond is man-made. It was uh, just a ditch before for the artesian spring. It's been widened out a bit. At the very back of the pond, you can see this one there. There's one down there. So yes, every single thing has been completely remodeled, let's say it that way. All right, I guess we better head back. You think you have your bus coming in too pretty soon, right? Yes, uh, almost every day we have at least a bus coming in. That keeps us busy running around in the gardens too. <laughs> I hear you. So if you haven't been to Whistling Garden, I invite you to come and check it out. Come for a walk, come with So 
little bit of internet problem here. We are back from Whistling Gardens. This is Emily Chanda from Go Norfolk. I'm with Darren, the owner and gardener, the master of this uh, masterpiece. We're walking around. It's a fabulous place to be active, get moving, explore. It's Pioneer's time. There's a lot of them blooming. I'm hoping to show you a few more around. So thank you so much for touring with me, Darren. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're very welcome. So come out and check out this fabulous location, open daily from 9.30 to 5 p.m., seven days a week. Come and say hi to Darren and his team. Thank you so much. Well, you're we'll very see welcome. if we can get uh, the bus and see where they're coming from. That's right. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I see one of the volunteers. So let's see if we can ask a few questions. Hi, Linda. Hi. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. Come on in. So you're one of the volunteers here I at am, the Botanical Garden. I okay. am. You love it? I love it. I love it. A it day is. like this, I have to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's what more can you ask for? Right. And gardening is one of my passions, okay. and I can connect with nature here and do a little self-search when I'm sometimes weeding, which a lot of people don't like doing, but I love it. That's you think? Well, yeah. We were talking about meditation yeah, last week, we right? Were. So this is yeah, this is we your were. time. And it's fun meeting all the different people. Darren and Wanda are wonderful people to work with. And uh, I love their passion. This yes, is what I've Yes, it, it's amazing. Talking to Darren is like I know. It's amazing when you look at this place and you think 10, 11 years ago it was just corn fields and, and soybeans and somebody had a dream and they put that dream to reality. It, it's just amazing. It's yeah, amazing. I, I know why now the amazing location is uh, poster is at the it's front here. That's right. For truly sure. unique. I've never seen really anything like this and I've been to different uh, places around Canada. So this is very cool. Um, I actually didn't point out anything about the retail location when I was talking to Darren. So this is a good, actually a good place to come and buy specialty bushes. And well, especially um, I live in a small home in a, on a small lot. So Darren does um, he specializes in a lot of dwarf, unusual trees, so you can come and get something really different for your yard, and it's not going to outgrow your yard. <laughs> not, so, not going too crazy? Yeah. yeah okay, so, maybe let's walk around a little bit yeah, there when you okay. talk to me about it a bit. Let's see if I can show you guys. This is the retail yeah. space that you use. Wow. Okay, so lots to choose from, right? Yes. So yeah, those so are the same cool. hours you can come up uh, anytime. Nine, uh, seven days a week. You can come yep. and buy yep. a bush or a shrub. Yep. He has a whole table over here to your right. And they're all little dwarf trees that are going to take a long time to grow. <laughs> but you can put them in your rock gardens. And if you look, it's, um, it's only going to, it's going to, it's only going to grow three inches. In a year. Oh, okay. So this for the small yards. Yep. Small will yards. be a great place. Yep. Yeah, not something you see at the the typical nursery, right? No, <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. And so he a has a real reason. multitude of. And it's nice with with the arbors. It's uh, kind of a nice place to shop. Beautiful. All right, thanks for your time, Linda. Really appreciate talking to you. Thanks for all the hard work that you're doing here at Whistling Garden. It's Helping not with really hard the work. It's very enjoyable. You love it. Love when it. When you love, love your work, it. it makes it easier. Oh, it sure does. Good to see you again. Thank, Thank you, Linda. You. All Good right. to see you. I am live here from Whistling Garden. My name is Emily Chanda. I'm a wellness coach. I'm passionate about healthy living, wellness, and fitness. And I think this is a fantastic place to come for a walk. There's over four kilometers of trails and path around the property that you can explore. The property is open seven days a week from 9.30 to 5 o'clock each day. You pay an admission fee to get in and then you get to walk to explore. The Piney Festival is going on until June 30th. There's some new ones that bloom every day, so you may even want to get a membership and come on a regular basis. There are uh, annual memberships available here. If you feel like you want to come on a regular basis, it might be a good option for you. Again, Whistling Garden is just about 10 minutes north of Waterford. Um, not very far from Brantford, so really accessible for Brant, Aldermont, and Norfolk County. I invite you to show up, come and try it out, walk around, see the pineys, and talk to Darren. He's super passionate about gardening, being outdoors so that may give you some inspiration for your own garden there's also the retail location that's open daily I'll keep walking around I'm loving it let's see if we can see at least one more peonies one more here 
they have over a thousand available to see in that Whistling Garden right here. Let me turn it around one last time, showcasing this little pat. What an amazing day. I'm grateful to be in Norfolk County, having the ability to explore this amazing location. There are quite a lot of amazing locations across Norfolk County, but this is a must. Add this to your list, show up, make a plan. There's also a concert. There's something super fun coming up on June 24th. They are hosting Ron Sexsmith. This is an amazing uh, Hamilton-based musician. He is extraordinary. Um, super well-known, won a lot of uh, Juno Awards and different awards for music. He's going to be playing right here. What if on location? Hi guys. Hi. How are you? All great. How are you? Good. Where are you guys? internet problem I'm sorry the connection is intermittent so we just had tourists there walking from France and Germany enjoying this location hard not to like it so this is the location for the fountain Darren and Wanda host a daily fountain show and this is not the typical average fountain this is truly something unique Darren is a composer and he actually writes the music during the winter time and sinks it to the fountain, to the water jets. And it's really a symphony. So this is a place where you can sit and listening to a music and fountain show. So this is Emily Chanda reporting from Whistling Garden and I invite you to come and check out this amazing located in Norfolk County, about 10 minutes north of Waterford, not too far from Brantford, I think about 20 minutes or so, open daily, come and check it out. I am passionate about active living and this is a fantastic place to get moving, so come on out Whistling Garden. Thank you for tuning in, Emily Chanda, we'll see you next time.